Good morning. Uh, I am uh, KPS Malik. I was in Sadhguru Hospital long time. Professor and head. I was head for 22 years and then I retired as additional DG from Ministry of Health. I saw the Blumenthal long time back somewhere in Delhi doing it then when we were doing FACO very well. And I saw it so impressive surgery that it really in a place where healing is much better than FACO. It's not clear corneal incision. It is incision which is in the sclera, heals very well. And if you make a good pockets around in the cornea and sclera, then you can take the any lens out of it and you can do it without suturing. So this is just a video of a cataract done by me. And the, the you can see that black cataract, virtually black cataract. So this much hard cataract, if you try FECO, whatever is your machine, your cornea would not be happy. Your cornea would not be happy and your iris also may be not very happy. Only thing about these cataracts and uh, making this kind of incision, that curvy linear like this, curvy linear like this, and then pockets in the sclera and cornea. So that gives you such a big space, like a mouth of a snake, which dislocates mandible to get eat the bigger things. Same way, we virtually dissect the sclera and cornea inside. And outside the incision remain about 5.5. I never go beyond 5.5. And I call anti-HMR maintainer is the versatile instrument for even FACO. In a hard cataract, I will use the anti-HMR maintainer to control the surge. So you don't require any big machine for surge control. If your anti-HMR maintainer is giving you the fluid in the chamber, it is all the time full and you don't require the surge controller or a very big machine, sorry, very advanced machine. And see this lens, and you have a slight lens glide, but I have learned to do it with the iris repositor. And as soon as it shows in the mouth, I insert a needle and wheel it out. So you can see that key, the, such a big black cataract has been taken out out of the small area. Anything about this? Anybody felt difficulty in executing this, prop, this kind of incision? This kind of incision requires little uh, experience in the sense, think that you can make on a paper these kind of charts, like children do, that you can practice this incision on the paper by pencil first, 100 times that like this, like this, like this. So many times you do that on the paper, then your hand will work on the sclera also same way. That you take from here and go in one go. And first will be scratch. We say scratch is maybe half of the thickness of the sclera, but that is a little too much. Maybe 0.4, maybe 0.3. But half also is no problem at all. The only thing is that making it is the art. Making it the art, don't make it jagged. Don't make it kind of a upper niche and don't make it too superficial to button all and don't make it too deep to go into the chamber. So these are the two things to be uh, kind of a observed while making this incision. And then of course his rest is nucleus has gone and the anterior chamber maintainer works like a irrigator and you can use another probe from side port to take away cortex from everywhere. And then you can put a PMMA, but I inject lenses now, and you can inject any kind of lens. Bifocal I don't prefer at all. Bifocal is called multifocal also. I will prefer a good trifocal lens, which has distance, you can see everywhere. You can see your watch, you can see your hair, you can see distance, you can see sitting here. I can do that, blessed by God to see everywhere. So if you have to give the incision, give a horizontal incision, never a vertical incision. Vertical incision will induce the myopia in the vertical meridian. So never a vertical incision. And this figure of eight incision start from sclera, take to the, this side of sclera, 
then this side of sclera and that side of sclera and ultimately not comes in the burial like it is in the incision. And then conjunctiva you can put back and you can see the tunnel dissection. That is once you make a proper incision, tunnel dissection is another art that you keep your crescent knife keeping in mind the contour of the cornea. Don't go straight. So you have to see the cornea is like this and then like this. So, and I make side port both sides and especially I have uh, published the bimanual rexis. So left side like dialer manipulates the rexis and right side de do the rexis. So you can do the large rexis or any kind of rexis but bimanual means my left hand is ready to spread it out, don't allow the freezing of the capsule, and this keeps a watch on the rexis, left hand, that anywhere there's a problem with this rexis, it will spread it, it will spread it. So this was jumbling up with what we call frozen rexis, and then with the bimanual rexis, you can get the absolute control onto the rexis. And then we enter the chamber with the 2.8 or 3.2 and cut going in. And when you do it, do it fast. Quick, 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 so the chamber doesn't collapse. So don't allow the chamber to collapse. And then hard nucleus virtually occupying the whole space and it comes out easily. And you can inject visco over it, behind it also. Once you get a little lifting of the nucleus, you can inject the visco under it also, so it will be separated from everywhere. And see, this, this is also very big nucleus and very hard, virtually brown, grade 5. In fact, black cataracts, sometimes which call black cataracts, may be smaller than these ones, the brown cataracts. And anterior chamber maintainer is a must part of my procedure before the beginning. I can do the rexis under water also, that you have a rexis under the anti chamber maintainer fluid. So you don't use the visco. And visco sometimes get back onto the back of cornea and attracts a lot of cortex and other things. So you can do the rexis under the water. Assisted delivery I call like this, that under the iris repositor, I am giving a little push. The nucleus is being pushed by the fluid and nowadays I can inject through the anterior chamber maintainer viscoelastic also. You can inject, inject in a hard cataract little bit of visco through anterior chamber maintainer and it will push it into the, see now, there's the biggest one come out of it. Thank you very much. I think this will take you to the, thank you so much. Thank you so much. <laughs>